Alright, you've hopefully watched the installation and activation guide on how to set up PageZephyr Search in design for the Macintosh. To get started, then, it's quite simply as easy as double-clicking it on our, I like our icon there, lovely icon. And you get the blank window for PageZephyr Search for InDesign. Now, what I want to show you on the Macintosh here, if we do a search for, we get a plethora of results. And I a call from corporate that says, find me all the documents, use the term Marksware and the keyword phrase, Fletchick Online, and I need them by the end of the day. Now, you just came in, it's Friday morning, you're ready for the weekend, and the client, or the boss from corporate, or the client from the publisher, or you as a graphic designer, or as a pre-press worker and a printer, wants it, needs it now, yeah, what are you going to do? Well, if you just use InDesign, you have to open each file, do a Command F, cycle through the whole file, and see what you have. And if you have thousands of documents, you can never find all of them with use those two keyword phrases or terms. It would just wouldn't be possible. But with Marshware's page effort search, it is. So, for instance, we go in here and we type in first the word. We'll say contains Marksware. We click enter or return and you'll see we get 47 documents that contain the keyword term Marksware. Now if we hit the little plus icon here we can say what if the text content contains flight chip online and now we click enter again and now you'll see we, we've whittled down the number of potential files we have to uh, investigate further down to 19 actually in this hypothetical task we've completed it well more or less right now we can adjust our real estate by going like this and we can of course make the window itself bigger and you'll see down below here the path to the file and we can cycle through all the documents on the left hand side and get a preview of their content on the right hand side and it will show every iter iteration every time the terms are used Flygic Online or Marksware and it highlights them in yellow so very very handy you can also cycle through each individual document with the known command G like you would do with any find in your browser or on any uh, application on the Macintosh Command G, you can just cruise through and find every place where, in this case, flight check, the key term we just searched for here, is used. Let's do a search for PDF to DTP. That's our new PDF to InDesign conversion filter. Search on date modified to get the most recently modified. And I can then go in there and say, okay, what, what needs to be done here? I want to go here because I now need to say it also includes a CC version which by the way page F for searches in, in indexing CC files if I select any term and I go to edit show selection and document it'll actually launch InDesign but not only launch InDesign but actually take me to and highlight where I just was in page F for search extremely useful so let's show you that again here. Let's close the file. Select the URL. Go edit, show selection document. And boom. Look at that. Right exactly. Oop, you can't see it. It's off the page. Let me move this up. Right exactly. It highlights exactly where it is into the page. So this is very, very useful. Way, another uh, little tip. I can click on the document itself down here and it'll also launch the file for me. So there's multiple ways to get into your content in InDesign. Now I don't need InDesign, I can quit InDesign. It'll search without having InDesign. So as someone who just needs to find and get a visual uh, overview of the content, you don't need InDesign. But having InDesign makes it a lot cooler because you can interact with your content. What you can also do is take this content here 
which we found, we can select all, copy, and then we could, you know, obviously go into. You can also take what you found and copy and paste that as individual text stories into something else, a, a text composer, an email, or into a new InDesign document, and it's fully editable text. Now, one last thing to show you here, which is really neat with the Page Zephyr Search for InDesign, it'll also now enhance your spotlight and your finding capabilities on your Macintosh. And Command F brings up this search uh, window panel, and if I search now for Marks everything there. inside, you know, search the entire document. And then what you see if you look by kind, let's see, we get too far here. You'll see here now all the InDesign documents are showing up. Now there is one uh, slight problem. They're not all CC documents. That's just saying that's the latest version I have on my machine. But now you can also, with Marksware's, Page for search for InDesign, you can also search your entire hard drive right through the Command Find or Command F through the Apple Spotlight Find technology. So very cool. So that's been Page for search for InDesign on a Macintosh. Cruise on over to www.marksware today to get more information on Page for search for InDesign. And there you can check out all of our other wonderful products as well for InDesign, Quark, Illustrator, Photoshop, we do pre-flight, conversion, and search. David Dilling from Marksware, wishing you a fantastic day.